Hey everybody, Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books. Okay, it's time for the weekly puppy measurement. There's Barnabas up against Sparky. You can see it's getting bigger. Okay, <laughs> thank you Barnabas. Now, uh, thank you Sparky. This is what I need to tell you. If you haven't been in the store in a while, things have changed. We have moved the giant shipping center, which looked like Santa's workshop, out of the store to an off-site location. So now the middle of the store is not full of brown paper boxes and bubble wrap. It's full of books. So we have a lot more room and we really hope you'll come in. Now it is springtime. You have a choice. You can either read a 900 page book about Philip Roth's sex life, or you can read books about springtime. We have Audubon Birds of North America. That would be nice. You want to know who's coming home, who needs seed? And Audubon Trees of North America, if you want to know who's blooming. Oh, there's also my favorite Kate D. Camillo, Stella Endicott and the Anything is Possible poem now out in paperback. But here's my favorite, Buzzwords, poems about insects, if this is the cutest thing you've ever, ever seen. All right, I'm gonna read you a really good poem by Christina Rossetti, The Caterpillar. Brown and furry, caterpillar in a hurry. Take your walk to the shady leaf or stalk. May no toad spy you, may the little birds pass by you. Spin and die to live again a butterfly. Who doesn't want this? Okay, Lindsay. <laughs> Thanks. Hey y'all, um, get your fill of Barnabas right now because I'm gonna have to put him down. Uh, he's still working on his stage presence. You want me to take him? <laughs> oh yeah. Dog wrangling. <laughs> um, so we have a really big lay down. First, before I get into things, I just wanna highlight that we have the new Hunter Biden memoir, Beautiful Things. We have tons of copies. Come and pick yours up. Um, for the rest of these, I'm gonna do a light, lightning round. If you like X, you will probably like Y. Um, if you like to say nothing and are interested in the history of Northern Ireland, you will probably like the new novel from Flynn Berry, Northern Spy. If you like dysfunctional family dramas like The Family Fang and The Nest, you will probably like Good Company by Cynthia Dapri Sweeney. If you like something slightly more surreal in the vein of Karen Russell, you will probably like Helen Oyeyemi's newest pieces. And if you like sprawling family histories like Pachinko um, or The Immortalists, you'll probably like the debut from San G sorry, Sangina Scythian Gold Diggers. And up next we have Elise. Hello everyone. I'm here to tell you about a couple of very exciting events. First, we have Martha Hall Kelly. So she is the best-selling author of Lilac Girls and Lost Roses. This is the third installment of the Woolsey Women. Set against the backdrop of the Civil War, it's great historical fiction. This will be on our Facebook page tonight, 6 p.m. Central. So I hope to see you there. If not, remember that you can go back on our Facebook page and see it. And if this isn't enough on its own, Martha Hall Kelly is in conversation with fellow best-selling author, Lisa Scottolini. It's gonna be great. Then, check out our website, because on Thursday, April 8th, you can get tickets to see Brandi Carlisle for her new book, Broken Horses and she's gonna be in conversation with none other than Dolly Parton. This is one you don't wanna miss. So go on the Parnassus website, parnassusbooks.net, and get your tickets while they last. These are signed copies, so if you purchase them from Parnassus, and we hope that you do with the Martha Hall Kelly, you can get a signed copy. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Ryan. Thank you. Sorry. Hi, everybody. We have a picture book by Nashville author coming out today, 
Anita and the Dragons by Hannah Carmona, illustrated by Anna Kuna. These two ladies will be in conversation on Thursday on the Parnassus Next Facebook page. I am so thrilled because Anna will be joining us from Brazil. Um, this is Anita and the Dragons. Anita and her family are getting ready to board a big dragon, a plane, to America and start a new life. This is a beautiful picture book. And we also have We Are a Garden. This is a book, a beautiful lyrical picture book about the history of immigration in America and how people came from all over to populate our country. Wednesday, we'll be having a great event for the new book by Meg Medina, Mercy Suarez Can't Dance. She will be in conversation with RJ Palacio, the author of Wonder, and that will be Wednesday on the Parnassus Facebook page at 6.15. You don't wanna miss that for sure. This is the sequel to Mercy Suarez's first book, and it is about her in seventh grade, where she's now co-managing the school store with a boy. Also, there's a big school dance coming up, and she can't dance. So, follow along on that journey. And also in middle grade by Karen Cushman, War and Millie McGonigal. This is a World War II home front story that takes place in California. We have signed copies. And we're so happy that the Parnassus Next selection for this month comes out today. It's The Cost of Knowing by Brittany Morris. This is about a boy who sees the future when he touches an object. And unfortunately, he sees his brother's imminent death and he is, doesn't know what to do, but he knows that he must change that. We do have signed copies, and you can also sign up for Parnassus Next, where you get a great first edition every month. Thank you for listening, and thanks for shopping with us in the store and at ParnassusBooks.net.